Hi guys, how are you? Welcome to this week's video. If you saw my video on art books, you'll see that I'm in exactly the same spot with exactly the same stubborn cat that refuses to leave. If you don't know me, hi, my name is Bia. I'm an illustrator and I have a very fat cat. <laughs> Her name is Lucas. Quite sunny and I wanted to just film while getting a bit of sun in my system, so hence why all of this like vertical shadows i'm sorry about this hopefully the sun will then move on a little bit and it won't have as much harsh shadows but for now this is what we have if you saw the title of this video i want to talk to you about this so i recently did a video with artx as well and this is not sponsored they are not paying me but they are sending me the supplies free of charge for me to share with you guys they are just allowing me to try these supplies with you guys and so this time we have acrylic markers and if you know me i adore acrylic markers i have not been using them as much recently but that will change today so these are two different sets of acrylic markers and they are brush tips so 30a which is this one has a more of a pastel color selection and then 30 B, which is this one, has more general colors. These two sets complement each other in a way that they have don't have any repeat colors. So for example, we have 3 to 5, here starts at 8, we have 18, this one has the 19. So you can have both of these sets and you do not get any repeat colors besides white and black. No need to press down because these are brush tips, waterproof or multi-surface, water-based ink, odorless and non-toxic. I'm going to leave them my favorite for last, so the pastel set. On this angle you can see her little face and yes, this is her shaved belly. Her scar is looking very, very nice and she's no longer in pain or anything, so that's nice. Okay, so this is the acrylic marker B with the more general colors. Okay, so this one has a little... I think these are stickers okay cool these are stickers so I guess if I want I can stick them onto this because I don't think yeah the marker themselves don't have any information besides the color cap so this might actually be yeah this is helpful in case you want to just refer to the number rather than the color if you have a swatch sheet which we will be doing today so looking at the colors here, <laughs> look at <laughs> So it is a more general collection, even though this is quite pastel-y. And I do love, I have to say, I do like the shape of the barrel. It's a bit chunky, but not too uncomfortable. Oh, it has a little groove there to make sure that they stay like that see a tip let's go for this one okay it's it seems nice and thick let's test it i don't know Ooh. okay it's it is high coverage darn that is actually a lot of coverage <laughs> cool okay cool this excites me this excites me quite a lot let's check the bottom layer because we have two layers Excuse me, Lucas. So this layer is a bit more like purples and then earthy greens, a very nice blue in here. And then we have the metallic gray and black. So yeah, this is their more general colors, so to speak. Let's go for the one that I really wanted to get, get my little hands on. Ye oh, come on. This one's a bit more, eh, it's a bit more difficult, okay. Head this upside down. Okay, so this one has a little thank you card for the RX. And instantly it is a bit more pastel. The pinks go in a more softer gradient. And then this one immediately has a darker blue right here at the top. This one starts here, the purples, and the purple only start in the bottom layer. I don't think, oh yeah, these ones don't have the little stickers for the numbers, which is a shame. I actually was 
looking forward to sticking those actually <laughs> we have much less browns a bigger transition between colors so i do enjoy that what do you want to say something i'm quite excited to swatch these they seem very very fun and i'm quite excited to try these out i think it would be nice to go in order to actually see what what's the rainbow gradient that we have and then i might just write in front if it's on a B set or an A set. And so, since there were so many colors to swatch, I decided to do that kind of off camera, so I filmed a few clips, because to be honest, I got messed up a lot between swatching which was a B and which was an A. I mixed up a few colors, so I'm glad I did this off camera, because if I filmed and talked while I did this, it would have been even worse. We have some very nice vibrant colors these actually really pop off the paper and no prep required which was very very nice and they do show up quite nicely on black a bit more patchy on the black paper i think that would be a bit solved if i tried a different paper this was just a random black piece of paper that i had and maybe if i did a gesso coat on top of the paper that might fix it as well so as you can see the rainbow that we have we have quite a lot of colors and it's really nice to see that they don't overlap i do find that some blues were quite similar on the a set but i adore the b set it's just so my aesthetic i adore the colors even though the a set is also very very nice if i had to choose between them i would most definitely go for the b set but that is just because it suits my way of working and my color scheme that I prefer. It has some very nice lilacs in there. As you can see, Luca really enjoyed the box. And so for the drawing, my first step was to try and sketch something that would be fun. So I haven't done a mermaid in quite some while, so why not? And then I did a clear gesso top coat on top of the paper just because this helps out a lot when it comes to acrylic pens like eating up the paper if you do a lot of coats or you just like do a lot of swipes it will eat up the paper very quickly i learned this trick from i am a wonder or tina here on youtube and instagram thank you for teaching me that tip <laughs> it's actually really helpful when i want to do a bit more complicated piece not just a random doodle started straight up with the colors and since I have the acrylic, the clear gesso top coat, it means that the pens don't dry as fast. So that also is a bonus because it allows for blending a bit more easier than it would be even though you can blend these very fairly easy, it's not an issue but for example, the thing that also happens is that I put my hand in lots of wet paint throughout this drawing because it wouldn't dry as fast because of the gesso. But I still prefer how the gesso looks. These pens just have a coverage that is way more than I thought it would happen. I'm quite impressed with the coverage of them. They just pretty much cover anything. You'll see in a bit that I cover a dark purple with a light teal and it's gone and you cannot see any pencil marks. You cannot see anything. So these are quite opaque. They slide very nicely. I do enjoy the tip. The tip is a bit squishier than I thought it would be. It's a very squishy tip, but it also allows for more weight variance, but also means a bit more harder to control if you're not used to using brush tips that are as squishy. I myself prefer them. I like them. I don't know how they will last because I cannot interchange these. So when they start deteriorating, that will be an issue, but I don't know how long they'll last. I'll try to use them more often because to be honest, these were really, really fun. Definitely want to use them more. So I'll guess I'll check how long it takes for them to deteriorate. Uh, I guess it also depends how rough you are with them. So let's see how they behave in the long run. 
In terms of color schemes, I think I used maybe like three pens from the A set and mostly B, B set colors. I knew this would happen, for example, when I reached out to them about doing this video. They offered me a different set that had a lot more darker colors and I knew there was a more pastel color set, so I asked if I could have that instead. I'm glad I did because I knew, I knew from the start that this set would be my favorite. I just really enjoy lighter colors and just some fluffy colors the a set is very nice uh when i when i needed more contrast so it is good to have but yeah i use a lot more b colors <laughs> but i definitely want to try and use more of the a set so i think i'll push myself to only use the a set in the next drawing that i do with them because i definitely want to just have fun with them in my sketchbook these seem like a very no nonsense like i could even take these when i go out on drawing dates with my friends and i don't feel like drawing digitally because i tend to just grab my ipad with procreate and take that but this might be fun and no mess so maybe i'll try and push myself and just take these next time these are definitely a win in my book i really enjoyed these they were super fun i like i mentioned i love the color scheme that they had and they were just non-stressful <laughs> like there are some pants that are just a bit stressful and not having to pump these all the time it's very very nice i do still have ones that you need to pump i ended up using one of those for the white details at the end uh, just because it was easier for to doing like smaller lines i didn't test the white that much on this set it seemed very opaque i just prefer like sharper and cleaner lines for like highlights and stuff like that so i used my artistro pen for that it just went really nicely again this might be because i have the clear gesso but i believe in giving the supplies the best shot they have so if i know that something will help it shine i will try and do it and for me, it's just giving it a shot with the clear gesso because I know this paper this paper is a bit thinner, so it would be very easy for it to just get starting to deteriorate. Another thing I really like is that these are not patchy at all, at least in this type of background. In the black, they were a little bit patchy, but with another coat, they went very nicely and very smoothly. I also really like the metallic colors, but I don't use metallic colors. Like usually they were very nice and they were a bit more brighter than I thought they would be. So that's a nice plus. Overall, I really enjoy these pens. So definitely check them out. I have a link down below where you can check them. Rx is not sponsoring this video. They just sent me the supplies free of charge for me to share it with you guys. And the link is not affiliate. So I'm just sharing with you guys because I adore acrylic pens and I missed a lot playing with them. So I'm quite happy to be able to make this video. And hopefully I'll make more videos just chilling with just these supplies with you guys in the future because I want to just step back from digital painting from time to time. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and for being here. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've used these pens. Would you like to use them? Do these strike your fancy? And which set would you prefer, A or B? Because I'm totally B girl, but I mean, contrast is also very, very nice. I hope you had fun watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.